www.africancreationenergy.com presents the Afrobot Project from the book Kanoon Pata to Computer, available at www.africancreationenergy.com. Hotel Family Peace, it's your brother Osaidan Kanoon Pata, also known as Osaidan Obwadi, also known as Professor Ace, coming at y'all with the Afrobot Project from the book Kanoon Pata to Computer. Available at www.africancreationenergy.com This was the sixth book release. This book was basically focused on computer programming, robotics, and um, you know, with, like with all the books, I like to include a project, hands-on project that the readers can use to uh, get first-hand experience uh, and evidence of all the principles and concepts discussed within the book. So this particular uh, project combined both computer programming and robotics. Uh, the robot was called the Afrobot. It's a base, uh, simple, what you would call bipedal walking robot. It's made out of plywood, basically paint sticks that you can uh, get from a hardware store. It uses the Arduino microcontroller. Uh, there's also an uh, ultrasonic sensor on the front so that it can detect its environment. So I basically, you know, I build the robot and the instructions on how to build it is in the book. Uh, there's also a video online that shows you how to build a similar robot, although they do not use the Arduino and they do not have a sensor. It's called a, a bipedal walking robot. If you search for that online uh, using three servos, bipedal walking robot with three servos, you can find it. Um, and so, you know, I built the robot, uh, included the sensor so that the robot could detect this environment. And then I test each aspect of the of its routine. So right now I'm basically just t uh, testing the walking forward routine to make sure that it it works successfully. And you know you see the robot walk from one end of the table to the other. Uh, so that was successful. Um, then the next step would be you know, there's se there's several aspects. The robot walks. It it's it uses the ultrasonic uh, sensor to sense its environment. So if an obstacle is in front of it, it will either stop or it'll uh, change its direction. You know, this robot actually reminds me a lot of the, um, they call them fetishes in the movie Karakou and the Sorceress. The, the, uh, the Sorceress had these little fetishes that would go and um you know they they would like basically her little minions she could program them and tell her tell tell the the fetish robots what to do and so this afrobot reminds me of the um of those fetish statues from the uh, movie Karakou and the sorcerers so right now I, I put a book in front of the afrobot um to test the stopping routine so when he gets within 20 centimeters of the book, he should see it and just stop walking altogether. So let's see. So yeah, he's probably there now. He sees it and you see he stopped moving, stopped walking because he sees the obstacle. And then when I remove the obstacle, he's going to see that it's gone. He's going to continue walking. Uh, and then I, I think I'm going to put the obstacle back. He's going to see it again. He's going to stop walking. So, you know, Afrobot is conscious. He's aware of his environment. He's detecting obstacles. He can stop to make sure he doesn't bump into them. And um, from my laptop there, I'm able to, you know, see see what he sees. But it's not necessarily a camera. I'm more or less just seeing the distances printed out to see, okay, when, when he's within um, 20 centimeters, when he's within 15 centimeters, etc. Et so at this point in the video, I'm testing the um, avoidance routine. So when Afrobot gets within uh, 20 centimeters of the obstacle this time, uh, he should turn around. He should turn, not stop, but just completely turn around to uh, and keep on walking to avoid the obstacle. And then if there's an obstacle less than 15 centimeters in front of Afrobot, then he'll completely stop walking altogether. And so, you know, you know, again, this is to... Uh, to tie in, you know, African culture with computer science and robotics, you know, that's again the overall um, theme, overall focus of you know African creation energy books. Okay, so now he's seen the obstacle. Now he's turning around, 
and then you should continue walking forward. Yeah, see, all right. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who have concerns about drones and things like that. And so, I mean, if that's really something that you're concerned about, you know, again, African Grish Energy has provided you with a book and a project where you can basically create your own drone. All right, so I'm going to put my hand in front of the Afrobot to show that he's, he'll actually stop when the obstacle is less than 15 centimeters in front. So he stopped, removed my hand, he should start walking again. So all the routines are, are working successfully. All the routines have been tested successfully. Um, all the programs have been downloaded to the Afrobot. So now I can remove the wires and just let Afrobot walk it out, right? <laughs> you know, and so, you know, again, African science, math and technology, African computer science, um, it's all part of our culture. Uh, again, the Afrobot, the step-by-step -step how to build it, how to program it is in the book, Kanoon Patata Computer. Um, and we also have some uh, Afro Afrobot t-shirts available at africancreationenergy.spreadshirt.com. I appreciate you tuning in, um, and thank you so much. Hotel, peace.